Hello everyone, this is King Cornell T Lessons. This is lesson 11, how to use temperature sensor. Begin today's video, we will make some education video about the sensor. Because for the home automation, the most important is the sensor. The sensor can let the relay for automatic control. So uh, for this temperature sensor use, we will look at uh, this uh, six step. Uh, this, this is the one is uh, how to choose the sensor, and uh, this two is the uh, pin define the sensor every pin was function, and the three is uh, extend the distance uh, for long distance, and the four is the diagram how to wire, and the five is the set the logical command, and the six is the demo. We can take a demo for the PC software and set for the value how to for automation uh, automatic country. Okay, let's look at the first one. We can choose the sensor. This time, I will tell you this is the DS18B20. This is commonly used. Uh, just uh, this is the sensor. This sensor is the range is very wide, so it can use for your home automation or for industry or for agriculture is no problem. And this sensor is also very easy. So the second we will see the pin define. This is VCC date and the ground. Uh, you can see this is a DS18B20 sensor inside. This is a metal shell, so it can put into the wart. And this is the three line. This pin means the red one is the VCC, this is the power. And the yellow one is the date, the signal output. And the black is the ground. So you just need to use this three line connect to your controller is okay. So this is the pin defined. Uh, we can see this is very easy, just the three line. And uh, the three, uh, you can extend the distance uh, because your sensor you need to connect with our controller. Uh, this controller I have used the CLBS uh, because this is our new controller and this have the relay output inside. So use one box you can do the automatic country. So you need, you need to let the sensor uh, connect with this box. But uh, the default is one meat, uh, just is one meat. So I think this is not enough for you to use for your project. Actually, your project, maybe you will have long distance. So you need to extend the distance. Uh, extend the distance, you need to use a wine. The wine needed to the sick. The sick is the bad. So yeah, that will be long. But I can't see how long you will use this wine. That needs you to test, uh, you need to uh, try to use a uh, sick line that test the distance. Uh, I can give you an example. Uh, this is a network cable, this is CAT5. Uh, so this is thin, and this is sick. Uh, you can see uh, the size is different. So I suggest you use this sync line. That will be a good quality. If good quality is one, the distance will be long. So you can use this one and uh, connect with this sensor together, just like this. And if it's poor quality, uh, that distance will be very short. So if you want to become long, uh, you use your good quality one. So this is for extend the distance. I think if you can ex extend for 10 meters is no problem. If you want to extend for 20 or 30 meters, you just use the best and the good quality of the wine. That will be good efficient. Okay, let's look at the four, the diagram. You you have connect with the wine uh, for for extend the distance, and now you can use these three lines connect to the logic controller. Uh, you can see uh, this is CLBS and this is this one. And you can connect with the Ethernet cable by this Ethernet cable. Or use the Wi-Fi and not without uh, one this network cable, just up to you. Now I, can, I will test for the Ethernet because I think the Ethernet is stable than the wireless. So if you can use the Ethernet line, you can suggest to use this one. And uh, you can see this is the output, just the green is the relay output. You can see uh, this is COM, normal open, normal close for every channel. This is for eight channel output. And this is for the temperature input. Uh, this is for temperature. Uh, this is small, the green one, the temperature. The max you can connect with the five channel temperature uh, input. 
uh, this you can see the V and the ground. Uh, this is V and ground. Uh, uh, we will see the details later in the video. And this is the S1, S2, S3, S4, S5. That means the temperature 1, temperature 2, temperature 3, temperature 4, temperature 5. Uh, this is V, S1 to S5 and the ground. So we will use this one uh, connect with this directly. And if you have only one temperature sensor, you can connect with either S channel uh, for S1 or S5. It's up to you. And you have two or three or five or uh, more than one temperature sensor. You just connect the different input of the S, S channel. Uh, you can connect with S1 to S5. So you can connect to the five temperature sensor. And all this temperature sensor VCC, you can connect together with this V. And all this ground, you can connect together with this ground. So just use the S1 to S5 for a different line. This S1 for this temperature sensor 1, and S2 is for this temperature sensor S2, and S3 is for S3. So this is independently, and this is VCC and ground just together. Use the wind line, is OK? So this is how to one. It's also very easy just to have three lines. And uh, this is the file. The file we can set the logic command. That is the important uh, sections. If you want the temperature automatic continually output for on and close, off, or open and close. So just you can set the logical command by CLBS PC software. Uh, this is usually we have used the three options. Uh, the A, B, C option A, that means if the temperature is greater than a value, uh, for example, the temperature is greater than the 30 uh, centigrade. So then we can so we can then command you can add it to the relay on and off. So you can set the condition and the then command uh, if and then and actions. So this is the first addition. This is the easiest, uh, just for a compare, for a value, for a temperature value. And this is option B. The option B, that means the temperature will in a range. This is a range, not this is a point, just the one value. And this is two value. The temperature need greater than a value. And the temperature also need to less than a query value. That the action, the then command uh, will be do an action, less the relay on and the relay off. So this is a range, uh, just for a range. And the third, uh, this is the third. If you want add a digital input, uh, such as you can install a button. This button you can set for enable or disable the automatic function. That uh, such as I press this button, that temperature automatic function will be enabled. I press uh, this pressing, and the automatic function will be cancelled. Uh, so this is uh, enable and disable button. If you want to use this function, you can add a command. Just uh, the actions. So this is for the temperature compare value, and also you should add this command. Uh, this is DI1, that means digital one uh, for the sensor, because this is dry contact, so we can connect with the digital input. Because we also have the digital input uh, for this blue one. And you can choose, uh, set the digital input, it become up or become down. This up means uh, the value is become up, and this down means the value, the input signal is become down. So you can set uh, which is state is changed, and the digital input is triggered. And these two actions all is successfully, and the action will be to the then command. So this is for two conditions. And this also have two conditions for uh, just the two, two value. 
And also you can have the D or E or F options, just add the condition. This is one, two, you can add three, four, five condition until the max support uh, 15 condition. So I think it's enough for your projector to use. And uh, this is uh, the last one is a demo. We will operate on the compute and we will take example for the option A, B and option C. Okay, let's look at the compute demonstration. Okay, let's look at this is serial BS. We have connected with the DS18B20 temperature sensor. Uh, you can see this is a diagram. Uh, we can see this is DS18B20. So we have connected with this three line at this. So we have used this three line connect with this green socket, just the V signal and the ground. And this is the power. And this is the digital input we will use for the option three. And now we can test the temperature sensor first. And you, when you wind the temperature sensor with the controller, and we can check the network setting. Uh, just you can see this is the Ethernet IP and the Ethernet the part. And I have not used the Wi-Fi. You can, if you want to use the Wi-Fi, also is no problem. Just set the Wi-Fi the SSID and the password for your load and then you can use the Wi-Fi IP and the Wi-Fi port this time we use the Ethernet just this IP I can copy and paste to our software and this is the IP and the port I just click connect okay this is successfully connected and now you can click this auto report on that will auto refresh the temperature sensor and this this is the temperature sensor. You can see the temperature is changed. And now the temperature uh, is 30 degrees. We can let it uh, less than the 30 degrees for our to test. Uh, you can see this is a three solution, just uh, for A option and B option and C option for our to test. And the first we need to test the, if the temperature is greater than 30 centigrade. And then the new one is on. And now you can see this temperature is already greater than uh, 30 centigrade. We can change to 31. And we can test for this command. So you just need to click FTD command and the number one command. Uh, we can edit. And in this option, uh, you can use this temperature if condition. And if the channel one, uh, this is channel five, we have connect with the channel one and the grid then for one second. This is just hold down the second, one second. And we can use send grid and the grid then 31 and click add if. Uh, you can see this add to this list, command list, if command list. And then we can click the then you can choose uh, which relay? Uh, we can choose the relay one is on, just uh, open and add to Zen command. And we can apply and uh, click the monitor. And uh, then we can test if the center grid is greater than 31. I use my hand, hold down the temperature sensor. You can see the temperature become up. Okay, now it's 31. Uh, you can see this relay is on. So this is by the temperature country that relay one is on. Uh, this is the first option, just A. Okay, now we can test the option for B. And we can also click the FTD command and edit this number one command. Now we can test the section B. The section B is greater than 30 and less than 35. So we can just, uh, we can test the 31. Oh, I have changed to 31. And just add another command. Uh, this one, I also change the channel one of the temperature. And this time, but I change the less than. And also, hold on one second. That is for stable. And uh, the centigrade is 35 and add to then and now you can see there are two commands uh, 
one is greater than 31 and uh, another is less than 35. These two commands all is true that the relay will be on and will be off. Uh, we, this time we can change the relay. We can delete. I can use the action for talking, just to change the state that you will be easy to see. I can click. And now also I can use this one temperature let it come up. Okay, you can see uh, this is talking because now it's greater than the uh, 31 and I go on uh, for the temperature. This only do action one time. If you want to always do this action, uh, you can set a command. I can add this FTD command. Edit. And uh, click then. You can press five, uh, 255. That means always do this action. So I can apply and monitor. And now you can see uh, this relay is always talking, talking, talking because he's in this range. I hold on. Uh, this will be easy to see the range country. Uh, you can see it's nearby the 35. Okay, now it's greater than the 35. So the command will not be actions. Uh, this is 35.0.1. So these actions will be not do the talking. Now we can wait the temperature is down uh, to the 34. The relay is also begin to talking. If I let it green, the temperature is up again. You can see this LD. And now it's up with then the 35 also is not running. So this is how to uh, to arc options on a range. Okay, we can test the option three. We can add the FTD command. And now I can remove this this one, delete. And if good, then 31. And I can insert a digital input one. I have connected with this is digital one, input one, so I can hold on the other point one, add to if, and apply. So you can see the temperature is greater than 31, is no problem. But this condition, this digital input is not triggered. So if I triggered uh, this, I have connected digital one, input from this one. This is my switch, just the dry contact. If I have press uh, this button, it's green. So the temperature is arrived will do one time. You can see I can press, this is off. If I press this off, the temperature is changed. Also is uh, greater than 31, but it's not turn on and turn off talking the relay. So I can, when the press the button, uh, for enable, so this temperature will be running for one time. And this also is talking. So this is the temperature sensor and the digital input sensor. This is for enable or disable. That's the temperature only do one time. And if you have used the range, the temperature range, you can do these actions uh, for repeatedly because uh, this digital, digital input just for a uh, pulse, a uh, pulse for up and a pulse for down. So this is we have tested the three options of the CRBS and the temperature sensor.
Okay, now I think you can use this ds 18 b 20 temperature sensor for your temperature automatic country project. In next video, I will make some many other sensors for usage. Uh, thanks for watching.